bike and I'm back with my 1977 Corvette and today I am at work. Well, that's not what this video is about. It is about the Corbo A4. I got them installed in the 77 here and I'm going to give you a quick couple pros and cons. So pro, they are a lot more supportive. I am a 35 inch waist. There they are in black micro suede, their mid-grade option. You have the shaved cushions, which are a must in the C3, doesn't matter what year. And then they do offer these in wide. The wide is going to be too tight. Uh, wide is for any passengers over 40 inch waist. And I would say 40 inch is probably just pushing it, but you will fit in here and the cushions will conform to you. The cushioning rather, or the bolstering. This is a synthetic leather uh, support to give kind of uh, a little bit more premium feel that can be conditioned with normal leather conditioner, but the black micro suede, if you use proper conditioner for my, uh, for suede, it will last a long time. And this will stay a lot cooler than the black leather option that these come in. I did order direct from Corbo. I recommend you do that as well because had I not, I wouldn't have found out that the passenger side needs to be on the driver's side. The passenger seat needs to be on the driver's side and the driver's side seat needs to be on the passenger side. And the only difference in each seat is where the reclining handle is. And that causes the reclining portion to stick out a little bit more which would interfere with the seat belt and the door over here so from corbo they said if you have a 77 corvette and i'm assuming it's the same for the others you have to swap sides with the seats at least on the intent if you're ordering these online so that way the handle will be on the inside not a big deal but what almost happened to me is I was ordering these seats online at first. I had everything picked out. And then I ended up calling them. I said something should, you know, tell me or, or some sides tell me that I need to call them. I called them. They said, yeah, you got to swap the sides. Uh, so if you intend on ordering the lumbar option like i did which mind you was very nice adds a lot of bolstering to your lower back or lumbar rather sorry they said you need to have the lumbar installed to the passenger side seat what would at least appear to be the passenger side on the order form uh, i completed my order with the representative on the phone he did give me a 10% military discount, which was very gracious. And uh, I appreciate that company for, for that. They are a premium seat. And if you have 180 horsepower C3, then you're not gonna need the extra support. But if you have a 425 horsepower upgrade like I do, um then these add the nice support when you're going around turns they are a little tight in terms of the clearances but this material does not make noise when i'm going around turns uh when it touches the door and it only touches the door if i'm this reclined back okay so I've got these at a comfortable recline for my height, which is 5'11". If I were a 6'2 passenger, I'd be pushing it, but you could recline this seat even further, and I'll show you, which is kind of nice. It's an upgrade from the, um, from the original seats. I couldn't recline near this, okay? 
which will give me a little bit extra room, but you're driving at a decent angle, but it's the price you pay when you want to drive your C3. Anyway, I'm not trying to make this video too long. I do recommend these seats. I would not get them without the shaved cushions. I would get lumbar at least on the driver's side and shaved cushions option is a must. The brackets, they make custom for your vehicle so it is worth paying a little bit extra to get the correct brackets and they bolted right in the holes where they belong uh, for the 77. The brackets bolted to the seat with included hardware with these seats. The brackets bolted to the car with hardware from the old seats. So if you sold off your old seats with that hardware, you're gonna need to get some hardware at the hardware store, not a big problem. Um, I guess really that's it. I, I mean, what's kind of nice is you see it's almost natural this OE seatbelt just rests on the bolstering on the side. Okay. Uh, the It slides forward and back pretty easy, so don't need to worry about that. Um, they include that nice and greased, so it'll last the, for years to come. If you guys have any questions, please post down below and I'm gonna do my best to get back to you same day or uh, within, you know, 24 hours or so. Thank you and look forward to talking with you.